Hey guys, this is Delphine with a Japanese lesson on the Culture Court channel. So last week we learned some beginner's words and one of these phrases I just briefly touched upon and would like to go into more detail today. This phrase is yoroshiku onegaishimasu. As I mentioned, it's incredibly difficult to define in English and there's no real translation for it, but it's a very useful phrase that's used all the time in Japanese, so it's still a good thing to learn. Even though it's just a short little phrase, I've seen people struggling to understand it and others struggling to explain what it means, so I just want to spend a whole video on it and hopefully it'll help you out a bit. So let's take a look at what the phrase means in its most literal sense. There are just two words here, yoroshiku and onegaishimasu. Yoroshiku is the adverbial form of yoroshi, which is just a more polite way to say i, which means good. You'll hear this, for example, if someone is confirming something with you. I desu ka? Or more formally, yoroshii desu ka? Is this okay? Or is this good? Dropping that i at the end and changing it to a ku makes it an adverb. So if yoroshi means good, then yoroshiku means well. When you change it to an adverb, however, it can also take on a second meaning. Instead of just meaning well, it can sort of become this request, like please treat treat me well, or please do something well, or please take care of something for me. Yoroshiku. The second part of the phrase is onegai shimasu. Onegai by itself means a request or a wish, and shimasu is a verb for to do. So when you put it together, it basically means please do me a favor, or even more simply, it's just a formal way to say please. So if you're at a cafe or something and you want to order a coffee, you can say kohi onegai shimasu, and that would mean I'd like a coffee, please. Now, putting both words together, we have yoroshiku onegai shimasu, which literally means please treat me well or please do me a favor. Now, in English, we don't have many situations where we're going to say please treat me well, especially not in the way that the Japanese use it, so it's important to be very aware of the context that you would use this in. I'll go over a few examples that will hopefully make the meaning of this phrase a little bit more clear. First, like I mentioned in the last video, you use it when you introduce yourself. In a conversation, what usually happens is that you and the other person will say, nice to meet you, and then exchange names, maybe some brief information on each other. And at the end, you'll say yoroshiku onegai shimasu, and the other person will say the same thing. So it's like you're both saying, please treat me well in this new relationship that we're forming. This can be used with anyone, new friends, classmates, coworkers. Which brings me to my next example. When we say nice to meet you in English, it usually means we're forming some kind of friendship there, no matter how brief or casual it may be. In Japanese, however, yoroshiku onegai shimasu can also be used strictly for business transactions. You say that you're going to be working with someone new or a new group of people, co-workers, a new boss, a client. However, this isn't just for people that you're meeting for the first time. It can be with someone that you've known for a while but are starting a new endeavor with. So instead of nice to meet you, in this setting it would mean looking forward to working with you or even a kind of going forward, let's do our best to work together on this business matter. Moving on to the next example. Another way to use this phrase is if someone's doing you a favor. So if a friend is going to babysit your child or take care of your dog, Whenever you drop them off at your friend's place, at some point you would tell them yoroshiku onegai shimasu. It's like, I leave this in your charge, please take good care of this, and I really appreciate it. And the last example I'm going to go over today is sort of a friendship renewal statement. Remember how I said that in a business setting you can use yoroshiku onegai shimasu even if you already know the person? Well, that can happen with friends or anyone else that you know too, and this happens a lot specifically at New Year's. So a common thing to say would be kotoshi mo yoroshiku onegai shimasu. Kotoshi mo means this year too, or this this year also. So that would mean please treat me well this year too, like you did last year, or thanks for always taking care of me, let's continue to be friends, those kind of feelings. Okay, so those are several different situations where you can use yoroshiku onegai shimasu. By the way, as a side note, you can say this phrase verbally of course, but you can also use it in a letter or at the end of an email or something. Same situation, but if you're writing a business letter or asking someone for a favor, it's always useful to write it at the end of your message. It sort of replaces the sincerely or best regards that we would use to sort of sign off on a letter. Alright, so that was a lot of information, but I hope that helps you to shed some light on things. Basically, this phrase implies a sense of appreciation and that you're sort of in someone's debt, and it also includes some form of request. It's extremely useful and can be used in a ton of situations, so while it might be kind of hard to understand at first since we don't really have anything like it in English, do try and pick it up. Pay attention to the context of the situation whenever you hear it, and hopefully you'll get better and better at knowing when to use it yourself. And then you might end up like me. Nowadays, I get kind of frustrated that this doesn't exist in the English language because it's such a handy little phrase. So, Minasan, kono video mite kurete, arigato gozaimasu. Kore kara mo yoroshiku onegai shimasu. Bye bye.